Then We Came to the End is a novel by Joshua Ferris that is set in a modern-day advertising agency in Chicago during a time of economic downturn. The novel tells the story of a group of employees at an ad agency who are dealing with the stress and uncertainty of layoffs, downsizing, and the fear of losing their jobs. The novel is written in the first-person plural, with the narrator speaking on behalf of the group of employees at the agency. The novel opens with the agency facing a round of layoffs, and the employees are anxious and worried about their fate. The narrator describes the atmosphere of the office as tense and uncertain, with everyone trying to stay busy and avoid thinking about the looming threat of layoffs. The employees spend their days gossiping, playing pranks, and engaging in office politics to pass the time. As the novel progresses, the layoffs begin, and several characters are let go, including some of the main characters. The remaining employees are left to grapple with the loss of their colleagues and the fear of losing their own jobs. The novel explores the different ways in which the employees cope with the stress and uncertainty of the layoffs, including denial, anger, and resignation. One of the central themes of the novel is the idea of the corporate culture and how it affects the lives of the employees. The narrator describes the agency as a place where people come to work, but where no one really wants to be there. The employees are focused on their jobs and the need to keep them, but they are also aware of the emptiness and pointlessness of their work. The novel explores the idea of how the corporate culture can create a sense of alienation and disconnection among the employees. Another theme in the novel is the idea of community and how it can help people cope with difficult situations. The narrator describes the agency as a community of people who are brought together by their shared experiences and the stress of layoffs. The employees rely on each other for support and companionship, and they form a kind of makeshift family. The novel explores the idea of how people can find a sense of belonging in the most unlikely of places. The novel also explores the theme of mortality and how it affects the employees. The layoffs serve as a reminder of the fragility of life and the impermanence of things. The employees are forced to confront their own mortality and the fact that their time at the agency is limited. The novel explores how the characters deal with the fear of death and how it shapes their perceptions of the world. The novel also deals with the theme of time, both in terms of the present moment and the passage of time. The employees are aware that their time at the agency is limited, and they are aware that their lives are passing them by. They are constantly reminded of the ticking clock, both in terms of their jobs and their lives. The novel explores the idea of how people deal with the pressure of time and the sense of urgency that it creates. In Then We Came to the End, Joshua Ferris presents a biting commentary on the modern corporate culture, the effects of layoffs and downsizing on the individuals and how it shapes the human experience. The novel explores the themes of community, mortality, time, and the sense of alienation that comes with working in a large corporate culture. Through the use of the first-person plural narrator, the author creates a unique and powerful voice that allows the reader to share the experiences and emotions of the employees and offer a unique perspective on the world of work.